The first officer in charge of investigating Sydney fraudster Melissa Caddick's disappearance is due to return to her inquest for more questions about the thoroughness of the police work. Louise Coleman, junior counsel assisting the coroner, yesterday said some questions may have been raised within the NSW police force regarding initial search inquiries, and how much CCTV footage was seized and reviewed. Detective Sergeant Michael Kiner gave evidence that he wasn't aware of issues regarding the marine and air searches he ordered, and said the surrounding streets of Miss Caddick's Stover Heights home were canvassed but that it was dependent on people being home. Read more, Kangaroo Kills WA Alpaca Farmer Who Raised It The Australian Securities and Investments Commission raided the Sydney Eastern Suburbs mansion on November 11, 2021. This is the last verified sighting of the con woman. The next morning, she was purportedly heard leaving in the early hours to exercise. Some 30 hours later, her husband Anthony Coletti then informed police she never returned. Kiner said Coletti explained he delayed reporting because he thought a person needed to be missing for at least 24 hours and wanted to create a sense of normalcy for her son. Read more. Emotions run high as Queen returns to Buckingham Palace Sergeant Trent Riley visited the hairdresser and part-time music producer at home on November 13 and told Kiner that he found him evasive, vague and inconsistent. The different versions Coletti gave to police included who found his wife's phone and where it was located, in one version saying he left a post-it note and a gift with it. Melissa we had everything taken from us. This is a gift for you, the note allegedly read, with a pair of earrings I had lying around, Coletti said, according to Kiner's evidence. Coletti also told him he texted the cleaner from his wife's phone the day she disappeared to cancel the appointment, pretending to be her. Read more, Mammoth Mourner Q to stretch 6 kilometers to Queen's Coffin He then phoned her best friend and brother Adam Grimley but did not tell them Caddick was missing, to elicit an honest answer, he told Kiner. The witness on Tuesday said he was mindful Coletti's wife had just gone missing and was taking such sensitivities into consideration when not quizzing him on these inconsistencies. I just accepted his version. There were so many versions around a number of situations that occurred, he said. The inquest before Deputy State Coroner Elizabeth Ryan is due to continue on Wednesday.